Hello everyone, welcome to you all once again. Here in I am in uh, India around 5 a.m. and Sean is in Australia. So he's an Indian pharmacist, did Bachelor of Pharmacy, Master of Pharmacy from India, and he works several years as a uh, pharmacy lecturer in India and different different universities. He's basically from Kerala and he did PhD from Australia and he did postdoc and he's a permanent resident in Australia. And uh, he, you know, just passed his opera exam uh, and we will see Sean journey, is, you know, this is not something just, just like only for about the opera exam, because many of you want to become a, a, a professor, maybe if you want to do PhD, even I did my PhD from Sydney, right, in Australia. So we will give you some input from PhD admission criteria and all those things as well. So Sean, first of all, congratulations to you. Thank you. Can if you can just give, give us your brief introduction, your education background and your experience so far. Yeah, uh, basically I did my uh, BPharm and MPharm from Kerala in India. Okay. Then um, uh, my master's was in pharmaceuticals and pharmaceutics actually. Then I started teaching and then teaching for almost nine years. I worked with the different universities, mostly two colleges. Then, yeah, I moved to Australia and I did my PhD here in material science and engineering. But like my topic was uh, treatment strategies for prostate cancer. And I successfully completed my PhD and I worked as a postdoc for almost two years. Then I took a break, actually. Then I tried. Uh, then I just wanted to take a pharmacy exam. Then I went through different sites and uh, my friends and one of my friends, she had already did, um, you know, the coaching from academically. Then she suggested me to take, then I contacted Shohini and then, um, yeah, then I attended the class. The classes were really good, like, but I could, because I joined mid half of the course and uh, but uh, i could uh, i could the lectures were really nice and the instructors were really good uh, yes so shan uh, basically when you were working nine years you work in india um, mm -hmm. i work around uh, four years in malaysia i did a lot mm -hmm. of research in publication because i want to do phd from abroad so what was your motivation when, when you were in your uh, career initial real career when you were doing a uh, working as a teacher in india as a pharmacy teacher so whether you want to do a PhD from abroad or India, what was your aim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My aim was to do PhD abroad because I because my all degree was uh, like everything were from India. So I at least one degree should be from abroad. That was my intention and my aim. So for that, I tried really because I really really hard to get that because it's not easy actually to get uh, uh, an admission in abroad university. So. Whenever I was doing teaching, I was um, guiding uh, a lot of students in their thesis work and making publications and everything. So then thereby I I contacted many supervisors abroad. And uh, at one point I was lucky enough to get into admission, you know, to he got he was ready to take me for the PhD and through that way, I just made my entry to Australia. I, yeah. So much, guys. We are talking about opera exam. I know, but I want to share. You know, this entire journey. Even if you are a B form student or M form from India or Palm D, whatever you did from India, and you want to do PG or uh, you can say HDR degree in Australia, M phil in research or PhD in research. So same mm -hmm. thing. I want to repeat the Shani's mentioned earlier. You just need to find a Professor, for example, he did PhD from University of Newcastle. I did from PhD yes. from University of Sydney. Yes. Just go to your website, find a professor based on your own interest. For example, Chan is from pharmaceutics, so he is looking a professor from pharmaceutics. I was a from a pharmacy practice, so I was looking a professor from pharmacy practice. And I I wrote them the email, attached my CV. I wanted to PhD. I did my population this and that. So please show your interest and. Is not very easy, as I shan, shan mentioned. Uh, so please do some research, publications, do some working experience in your know, home country. Many Indians think that we just graduate from D, we just did an M form, and we, we want to do PhD abroad. You know, so it's not that much easy to get a scholarship. So please work for a few years in India, do publications, some research, then try. Shan, what yeah. you want to say? If you want to add something here. 
Yeah, that's a, that. Well, that's really important. Like you know, you, uh, then when you are preparing, like uh, to get into an admission to a PhD, it's uh, it's like uh, it's not that easy. But like uh, you, you will get through. But like you know, uh, your hard work, hard work will pay it off. So what you have to do is that, as you said, like uh, you have to do. Yeah, if you are just doing in a teaching or something, you have to have some at least two papers, because they definitely ask you your supervisor. Do you have any background in that one? And also, you should apply to the person of your interest, uh, what you want to do here and what you are doing. So based on that, if you then you try to do a the beautiful uh, cover letter which means that it should be it should be uh, it should be uh stating what is your interest what you were doing and uh, why you want to apply everything in, included in the cover letter and with uh, with a good uh, formatted cv you have to reach them yeah then it depends on a lot of factors like you know you may get admitted you may not but but Maybe I got a lot of rejections, frankly. I got a lot of rejections initially, but like uh, I didn't fail in that, but I just more got motivated and I keep on applying. And at one point, yeah, I got admission into the PhD. That's what happened. Like, so it's important you just keep on growing yourself and keep on applying, then you will get through it. Yes. So, guys, it is not as a fresher difficult but please try do some research publications and experience also teaching experience also is a matter basically you know uh, so you will get through you know so yeah, yeah especially if you are in teaching it is um, you know it's 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 an a plus advantage because you will be able to do some research you can make publication you can go and present some paper somewhere and that's a good strategy it's like uh, if you are able to do some international conference or something you can meet many professors and then it is good or somebody is coming from any, any other countries to india you find that that sort of conferences try to attend so and go and talk to them and just um, then show your interest and then after that send an email to them you've been uh, you know contact with that professor then yeah it, it's good like if you need someone and if you're searching for someone of the same interest he will definitely contact you that's what and it's good that because nowadays the scholarship also increased in australia i don't know about other countries so it it good it's like if you are one person or like if you have a dependent it's it's good and and the dependent also will get the full work right so he or she can work here it's good to come here actually yes i also recommend please try for australia if you want to peer but if you want to go in academics or if you want to go you know research then only try otherwise you can just write this opera exam become registered pharmacist it's a yeah. very very uh, stable job i can see you will get permanent visa permanent job if you can clear this opera exam but if you want to do in academic bahut hi interest hai aapka academic then only try can academic so otherwise after psd also you need to write the same exam as me and uh, shan also right after psd from the you know india australia so shan now come to this uh, uh, opera exam so mm -hmm. at at this point why you want to write this opera exam because you already did your psd and post doc even i did my psd you know i did uh, you know the same same yeah thing. because uh, for me the uh, the intention was actually uh, my uh, i have already applied for my pr uh, expression of interest in university lecturer mm -hmm. but in that one frankly if i can say that the cut off points are 95 it's too much high so currently i have close to 90 the points so uh, but i thought like when i checked with uh, some other people like uh, migration agents and all here so they told me if you can pass the opera exam the first point uh, the points are not that high and also they need a lot of pharmacists across different part of australia so getting into that you know permanent residency will be more easier if you consider as a pharmacist so that's the first point and also here in australia pharmacist is a really good job like yes. a really really very good job and you can get a permanent position that is really very important rather than working in a, a contract basis uh, if you get a job for full time and you can serve the people around here 
and uh, and also it's a different uh, job here when compared to india pharmacy job is different that you are expecting you know what we are doing back in india here you will be counseling you will be dispensing medications you will be sometimes making medication preparing medications has some requests from the doctors so you are really in touch with the people customers and you, you are really into the profession that's what you are going to do here so i think that's the second thing so i am open to work so i'm now i just qualified my first part so i am going to do my afra pre registrations and um, yeah I'm going to find one pharmacy to do my internship that's my what yes, going to do. and after phd also if you want to get permanent job is very difficult people think that if i can complete phd i can become a professor because number of pharmacy colleges is very low in australia and mm-hmm. the academics is very very tough i know many of my friend they are doing 5 6 7 year they are doing post doc only and mm-hmm. they have very headache because there is a contract for one year and they have professor and not have any further funding you know they need to look another job so there is uncertainty in their life they have no you know permanent job is still after 5 6 year they are doing post doc so please mm. that way if you can clear this exam very easily you can settle now come to shine if you know uh, for this uh, uh, how you know academically basically in high and how you join uh, us yeah that's so like uh, one of my friend last year she she did her oprex that was caps that time yeah. so she she did for almost 6 months so like 3 or 6 months with uh, uh, long back she did the course with uh, go caps exam caps they you know training with uh, academically so she qualified her first chance itself but also she was uh, she was writing this exam for uh, for a long gap sent uh, then what uh, the name from your friend uh is mini okay okay yeah, yeah mini I so mean. she she is my uh, colleague's wife actually uh, so so she she could pass to the exam in her first attempt and she told me you can join and uh, you know yeah it's uh, so then i i i she gave me the number and try to connect and so then then already the what i want i just wanted to write my exam as soon as possible so the possible date was uh, they suggested me actually to go for the november but i tried maybe i will try my like with the july july exam so so then i attend the course and uh, yeah i wrote my exam so how many how many hours you study basically uh, per day uh it depends because i was working that time and if, usually i just uh try to study in the evenings even it goes through like midnight also like uh, but your uh, materials and uh, mock exams were really good like uh, i try to do all those things and uh, yeah a lot of questions were there for the exam really i can say that from the mocks that really helpful yeah Okay. and also i can also suggest if anybody wants to write the exam it's like uh, try to do a lot of mocks the first time and also uh, they are like asking questions like uh, daily to ba- daily basis what a customer is doing like about vaccinations uh, you know all those kind of Uh, I mean, pharmacy. They will ask like yeah, pharmacy practice. When actually, yeah, that are... that's the thing. What that's the thing. What they are mostly asking, and um, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that. Yeah. I wanted to somebody who, who wants to prepare, just be. Shan- even what we consider as the simplest thing that will be very important in the exam. That is what I could interest. Shan, as per your experience, this, this exam, how you read? Very tough exam, moderate exam. or easy i uh, in your personal journey uh, for me uh, 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 what i can say that it's not it's, it was not easy i can say that it was not easy you need preparation uh, uh because i uh, because uh, i finished my masters in 2009 9 so after a long gap i tried to do my exam right yes. so i i was i i know that i'm going to compete with the new students new candidates so shan is not ready 
my senior because i did my bcom in 2010 <laughs> yeah so i did my masters in like two th- i finished in 2009 actually so yeah so what happened was i thought it's be going to compete with the new people new candidates uh, and there are like lot of days but like uh, but your materials and everything helped me actually so yeah so i can say it was for me it was little bit uh, yeah moderate to hard kind of an exam and uh, i was really tensed uh, you know what would be the result and everything but uh, yeah i went through i i got passed when i checked today morning i i got the result i passed and i'm really thanks to you people thank you so much shan and if you want to say at the end something to the student who has prepared want to prepare for this exam some mostly students very afraid they think that this exam is very tough not you know uh, they cannot pass even i i always said that even lot of people writing exam for ias became ias in india right the yeah. very very low so if yeah. some, those exam is apprise not that much tough i can see moderate yeah. moderate exam i can say is it's like yeah. yeah that's what it's not exam but the thing is that you should uh, you should have a, you know uh, you should work hard like you know just to, uh, at least you have to update the things and everything and uh, as basically i'm a pharmaceutics person so i don't have much background in pharmacy practice or therapeutics so that's the thing which made me uh, very different so i was a bit conscious so for the exam i thought maybe the questions were will be from that kind of thing but it was a mixture of questions yeah. so we have to be compete in every five because they give five divisions right competency in, in all those categories yeah and question wise they were asking very simple questions we feel and some for me i think eight to 10 calculations were there but like i can crack i think i'm um, i'm sure that i cracked like uh, eight or nine 10 10 question eight or nine calculations i did so you have to give importance to into those kind of things and you can get through the exam yeah <laughs> it's my my way of you know the experience i'm talking i'm not sure like uh, i feel that yeah it's like moderate to hard for me because i'm taking exam for after a long time that's the thing i so much yeah. chance i will talk to you separately regarding phd maybe some other time because many of the candidates want to do phd in australia yeah sure i can talk to if anyone wants to uh, wants to know about phd i am i'm just happy I mean, more than happy to help you i will you will share your experience i will share my experience so we want okay. to you guys help if any indian want to go australia yeah sure they can they can ask me no problem i can help in that category but like uh, as you said it's like really after phd uh, you have different option you can stay in academy you can go for industrial job it's open but like uh, academy job is i can say that it's still competitive yeah. and um, very so, competitive you know in my yeah. back Yeah, yeah, very competitive, very yeah. competitive, and um, uh, yeah, it, it will be stressful too. Like you know, every day you need to do research and publications, presentations, and everything. And more than important, grant you need, you know. Yeah, yeah, grant. Yeah, you have to have the grant and everything. Thank you so much, Shan. It was it was nice talk to you. I extend my sincere thanks to you people and all the instructors and you, everybody who helped me in this. to make my you know this exam to get qualified in that one thank you so much thank you so much thank, thank you. you bye bye, bye.